We're going to have a couple uh, short videos that are dealing with the subject matter of the word uh, church, uh, which really comes from the word kirk. And it's necessary for us to go down this because it gives us uh, an understanding of why there has been such amount of falsehood entered into the uh, the following of Jesus Christ. Of course, he warned that wolves would get in amongst the flock and lead many astray. Uh, but uh, if we look back at the time of Jesus, uh, when he was in the situation when he walked into the temple and saw the money changers in there exchanging their currencies and uh, basically to an extent almost like involved in a taxation on the people uh, in the name of God he um, he was infuriated about it because they were money changing really not only in a spiritual temple to an extent but they were money changing in your temple where God dwells so he was infuriated of course uh, during that and overturned the tables uh, tables also meant family names so they were operating in a Roman system under probably some form of licensing in order to run these exchanges of currency. Uh, but uh, they saw him as ending their money trade and they would not have it. Him bringing everybody under the salvation uh, of him, uh, dying for everyone and purchasing back what Adam had lost was not going to go over well with them in their business direction. So they were definitely wanting to conspire to kill him and uh, therefore uh, because of his interference with their commerce and their continuous collection plate of tax uh, they made sure that he was going to uh, be put out of uh, commission so our uh, our look at the Roman Catholic Church and then the Pharisees who, of course, were both sides that were involved uh, in the death of Christ. I know many people say it was strictly the Pharisees or the, uh, uh, these, these false Jews that were involved uh, at the time. Uh, but no, it, it also involved the Romans because the Romans definitely had the authority to execute. And therefore they did, even knowing he was without uh, blemish or sin or offense. So they killed him anyway. So they were actually... Uh, compliant to the whole or complicit to the whole arrangement so when we look at the uh, the arrangement between these two entities the uh, Pharisees and the Romans they kept it together for quite a while tried to kill the following of Christ and then eventually after not being able to defeat them in uh, from executing them in the arenas and their populations kept them increasing um, they eventually created the real big continuation of this money changing in the temple um, and eventually it led to uh, the Roman Catholic falsehood as if they are now representing Christ. So now you've got Constantine, their leader, actually uh, promoting, uh, promoting the idea that they're, they're actually uh, you know, in favor of what Jesus was teaching. So you come up with the term, Kirk comes up, because the Romans were pagans, as were the Babylonians and all the other nations that were not the nation of Israel, uh, they basically promoted pagan worship, and pagan worship was done in what is known as a kirk, or a circle. It came from these words. You need to do the research to find this out, because why you are basically caught up in the trouble right now, not being helped by your supposed Christian religious leaders during this supposed pandemic that's out there where no one's meeting is because of the fact they control the Kirks or the churches and they're money changing in those temples and because your pastor or your reverend will do whatever he has to do in order to get that money that he's allowed to have in that exemption uh, from paying tax on those Kirk buildings. But these are pagan temples and representations of this is right in on these circles that even these leaders, uh, these deputy registrar generals uh, for all these states are doing. Most people don't realize that all uh, public notary seals up to around the early 2000s in Canada were actually issued by the Archbishop of Canterbury. So it is very church-related what's going on. That's why the courts look like churches and pews and whatnot. 
with that uncomfortable bench seating. And we're, um, we're basically now um, in one of the worst times I've probably ever had to try to educate people uh, to bring them to a knowledge of the words they're using and what they're adhering to if they're involved in paganism will bring nothing but paganistic results. Um, you will find that the word church has to do uh, with a building set apart for public worship. As we know, publicans are tax collectors. This is a use of the money, but the building itself is not taxed, but they're using tax dollars to support the church, the Kirk, the pagan temple of worship. So there isn't a single uh, party out there that uses that word church and is registered as a 501c3 or what they'd have as Canada as a charitable uh, operation as a church that are not pagans right now. Um, and so therefore, we're going to read out of the Constitution of the Church of England. And just for people that think, oh, the Protestants are not involved with papal Rome, well, you're going to find out otherwise after I read this. This is out of the laws of England, the Constitution of the Church of England. Constitutional status. The Church of England is the branch of the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, which was founded in England when the, when the English were gradually converted to Christianity between the years 597 and 586. Then, later in section 711 of the same uh, article, it says, Though ultimately founded on God's law, as declared in the Holy Scripture, the law ecclesiastical derives its immediate origin largely from the canon law of papal Rome and the civil law of imperial Rome. Uh, I do not believe that the majority of Christians realize that they are in very bad, bad company right now. And they are supporting something and too afraid to talk about it. And don't wait for your pastor to tell you about it. And in fact, you ever bring these points up, as I brought up to many uh, supposed Christian organizations that I've made contact with, even through internet conversations, they automatically throw me off of the conversation board and tell me they don't want any at all contact. So uh, it is because they cannot handle truth because they're involved in pagan falsehood. So be careful if you belong to a church because you belong to Satan. 